A really great example of how our science has evolved over time is looking at the substitutability algorithm. Developed 10 to 15 years ago, it was really the bedrock of our ranging and assortment science. If we fast forward to today, we're building on those algorithms using a whole host of machine learning techniques like network theory and community detection to make sure that we can build up a brilliant picture of not just which products are substituting each other, but also the ultimate customer decision tree in a much faster and more automated way. When we consider which machine learning techniques to use, we're always looking for the ones that will give us the best results. That means an improvement in prediction or forecasting, or something that will give us more intuitive results. We're open-minded in terms of which techniques we'll look at, but always choose the one that gives us measurable improvement. At Dunhamby, we use machine learning techniques every day, whether it's to improve the quality of our data through anomaly detection, to find the underlying behaviours through clustering, or to predict the future, for example, how a customer rea will react if there's a product removed from a range. It's really the bread and butter of what we do.